So are we rolling? Yep, we're rolling. Oh, okay, okay. If someone says, what is Transcendental Meditation, how do you explain it? Transcendental Meditation, um, to me, is a, it's like a, a great workout for your mind without working out, but you get all the effects of working out. Um, you know, I come from a very spiritual world, from a very religious upbringing, and it's not religious. It's not spiritual, although I think if you're taking care of your body and your mind, that is a spiritual thing. Um, but it doesn't have that kind of religious background. To me, it's mostly medical. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like a, a little pill, but not a pill. Mm -hmm. um, it's a practice. So it's a little practice that you do. And it just, it, to me, it's a, the most rest. It's like the most power nap you could ever get. Yeah. And that experience of that quiet, that, that is, they call it, state of restful alertness, according to science, where your mind is completely settled, but you're wide awake. Yeah. And, it, and it's sort of before thoughts. Sometimes someone said to me, well, how do you know when your 20 minutes are up? I said, well, you can look at your watch. Sure. It's not like you're going someplace, but that peaceful state that you access just happens quite effortlessly. And that's a wonderful description. Yeah. Now, why the, um, for, oh, one more question. How do, you, how do you think it's impacted your remarkable career? My life is so crazy. It really is. It's extreme. I live in this one percentile, like, extreme, you know, I'm zigzagging all over the world. I'm on a plane more than I am on ground. And this tool helps me find moments of peace because I don't have a whole lot of time that extend my day so I can live, like, Full, my fullest capacity. Like, it gives me two days in one day. It just gives me this power, you know? And I do it before I um, write a song sometimes, definitely before I get on stage. And it's just such an incredible, useful, simple tool that has made such an impact on me, and that's why I'm sitting here with you today. Um. You're very calm on tour, at least with me, because uh, you invited our whole team to come and teach your, four, you know, the 40, uh, your team to meditate. And I ran into you just outside. You were coming out of a room, and we are just sort of chatting, and you looked at you and said, Bob, there's 16,000 people waiting for me right, like, right around the corner. And you just, like, did that. You were polite with me, and you just walked out on the stage. But there was such a, an evenness. I'm and a, a multitasker. And, yeah. But you, have, you have a great deal of kindness inside of you. Thank people, you. You're a very you know, kind person. Thank you. I think that, like, it would be a shame to have such a great cure all to yourself, like the cure for the common cold, right. and not to share it with people that are suffering. So it's the cure for, like, the common stress, which stress is a killer these days. And I have a lot of it in my life. And I have a great tool that helps kind of subside it. Yeah. Um, and I want to share that because I don't want people to suffer. I like to lift people up. And last question. David Lynch found our work in schools, our work yeah. with women and children who are victims of abuse, our work with veterans. That's, you know, tell me your thoughts on, on the work of the David Lynch Foundation. Well, I think it's fantastic to be able to give that kind of tool in schools where there is so much going on from, you know, disruptive technology to bullying to abuse from home. Um, and to be able to teach them that and for them to be able to have that throughout their whole educational experience, I think it would just make the educational experience even better. Um, what you guys are doing with veterans as well, like I, I know firsthand, you know, people in my own life that have PTSD and uh, you were able to teach one of them, and he, he said the first time that he learned, he slept through the night for the first time in years, and so I, I know that that has profound impact on them. The, the tipping point has tipped. When you and I met each other many years ago, it was still a new idea, but now it's in schools everywhere. There's it's nothing to be scared of. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just like, it's doing good things for your body. It's like PE for your mind. I mean, that's how they should think about it without all the smelly locker rooms and things like that. <laughs> so, thank you very much. This thank is absolutely you. fantastic, and I appreciate I love you, it. Bye. So, I love you very much, Katie. <laughs>